Alright guys, welcome to our channel once again. Today you will learn about isomerism. So isomerism is simply a phenomenon where organic compounds exhibit the same molecular formula but differ in the arrangement of their atoms. So although the compounds may have the same molecular formula, they have different physical and chemical properties. So these compounds are known as isomers or isomerides. So there are two basic subdivisions of isomers. These are structural isomerism and stereo isomerism. So we can classify isomerism here. as either structural so I have structural isomerism and then stereo isomerism So the structural isomerism can further be subdivided into three main types. So we have number one, the chain isomerism. Chain isomerism. So we have again number two, the positional isomerism. And we also have functional group isomerism. So the stereoisomerism can be grouped into two. So the two major types are optical isomerism and then geometrical isomerism. So, having known this, we'll go ahead and proceed with the structural isomerism. So, like we said earlier on, the structural isomerism can be of three main types. These are the chain isomerism. also known as nuclear isomerism so we have number two positional isomerism And then we have the third functional group isomerism. So 
I'll go ahead and wipe this. So it is also important for us to note that structural isomers are also known as constitutional isomers. All right. So let's consider the first type of structural isomerism, which is the chain or nuclear isomerism. So the chain isomers differ in the arrangement of the carbon atoms in the molecule. For instance, if I have And then I also have CH3, CH3, and then a methyl over here. So this is N butane. Now notice that this has the structural formula C4 H thin and this is two methyl propane because methyl is at the carbon two so I have two methyl propane so this will also have the formula C4 H10 so notice that this is a branch chain while this is a straight chain so this is known as an isomer of this because they have the same formula here but they have different arrangements here where this is a straight chain this is a branch chain so in this situation this is a chain isomerism so I'll go ahead and show further examples so what if I have CH3 CH2 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 and CH3 so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so this is N pentane So, notice that this is a continuous chain, a straight chain, but I can also have a branch chain that will have the same formula as the one above here. So, let's say this is CH3 and this is CH3 this is C H 3 so this compound is 2 methyl butane and it is branch chain it is a branch chain so this is another example of chain isomerism here so this is a continuous chain a straight chain whereas this is a branch chain so next let's consider the positional isomerism which is the second type of structural isomerism 
So the positional isomerism, organic compounds that have the same carbon skeleton but differ in the position occupied by a substituent group are said to be positional isomers. Now for instance, if I should have CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. Now what's this? This is propanol. And when I have this CH3, CH bonded to OH and then CH3. So this compound is 2-propanol because the alcohol group is at carbon 2 here whereas the alcohol group is at the age at carbon 1 here so this is propanol and this is 2 propanol now these two compounds are positional isomers so the phenomenon here is that of positional isomerism I'll go ahead and talk about the third type of structural isomerism and that's the functional group isomerism so this type of isomerism occurs in compounds with the same molecular formula which possess different functional group now for instance if I have CH3 CH2 OH now what's this this is an ethanol and then if I have CH3 O CH3 now what's this this dimethyl ether So notice that this has the formula C2H6O and then this also has the formula C2H6O so the both have the same formula but then they differ in the functional group now this is having an OH functional group while this is having an O functional group so this is a hydroxyl so this is an oxo which is an ether so you see this as dimethyl ether and then we we'll see this as an ethanol which is having a hydroxy group alright so this is a good example of functional group isomerism so another example of functional group isomerism is this so perhaps we have CH3 CH2 CH2 and then CHO so what functional group is this? This is an aldehyde. So this compound is 1, 2, 3, 4, a butanol. Which is an aldehyde. And then I can have this structure. then this is typically 
a ketone. So what structure is this? This is butan two on. So this is one carbon one, this carbon two, this carbon three, this carbon four. So I'll have butan two on which is a ketone. So notice that these two will possess the same formula that C4 H8O. Alright, so having known this, let's consider the stereo isomerism. So let's understand that stereoisomerism is an aspect of stereochemistry and it is exhibited by isomers which have the same structures but differ in their configuration. So we have basically two types of the stereoisomerism of which number one is the geometrical isomerism and then we also have optical isomerism. So when we talk about geometrical isomerism, we talk about the cis and trans isomers. So for instance, okay, some molecules have restricted rotation around a bond because of rigidity of the molecules. So this hindered the rotation around the carbon-carbon double bond. Examples are kings. So this leads to geometric isomers. Cis trans is another way of referring to geometrical isomers. So let's quickly look at this example. If I have this structure and this is H H and this is C H three and this is C H three. So I can name this compound as C two Routine. Whereas if I have this, this is CH3, and I have H over here, so let's say I have CH3 here. I have H over here. So notice that this is trans. So I call this trans to routine. So this is typically um, how geometrical isomers seem to be. So, they are just mainly the cis and trans isomers. So, you see this on the same side as this, that's cis. So, when this gets reversed this way, it's a trans. So, in geometric isomerism, the molecules differ in their relative positions. So you have a cis 2 butene and then you have a trans 2 butene. So I'll go ahead and wipe this. So the next type of stereoisomerism is the optical isomerism. So optical isomers are molecules whose structures are 
mirror images but cannot superimpose on one another in any orientation. Now molecules with non-superimposable mirror images of each other are called chirals. Now for instance, your palm Oh, wow. If I have my palm here and say the other palm, oh wow. So let's say this is the left palm, and then this is the right palm. Now, these two palms cannot be superimposed. If I lay this palm on this, I'll get something like this. And then this other on top will have my thumb down here. And then this. So, you notice that they are not superimposable. So, as such, they can be referred to as chirals or chiral objects. So, optical isomerism is actually displayed by compounds which have the same structure but different configuration. So, for instance, if I have bromochlorofluoromethane which is so this is bromo chloro Fluoromethane. So, a mirror image of this will have this Bromo chloro fluoro methane. So this compound is bromo chloro fluoro. So this is an example of a compound exhibiting optical isomerism. Alright guys, so that will be the end for the class. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also share with your friends and comment on the comment section below. Please ensure to hit the subscribe button right away. Thank you.